KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, August 29th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather nice and quiet, dry through Saturday. Question is, will Dorian, the hurricane, affect Alabama in any way? And what's that thing going to do? Let's take a look at all the latest data. First off, the upper air look, a very nice upper trough covers the eastern third of the country this morning. That has pushed down some really dry air in here, and it feels good. Look at the 50s in Cullman and Fort Payne early this morning, 60s elsewhere. Today, much like yesterday, sunny, low humidity, highs mid to upper 80s. Very nice. There's the watch warning map. It's a quiet morning across the United States. Severe weather possibilities through tonight have risk of severe storms from the Central Plains up to the Great Lakes. But down here, all of Alabama dry today. Same thing tomorrow for us. We're dry, a marginal risk well to the west. And on day three, which is Saturday, there might be a few scattered showers or storms over the southern part of the state. But again, uh, no severe weather expected anywhere in the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days across the United States. Of course, obviously, the focus is on the southeast with Dorian. And I stress these numbers will change again. Uh, obviously, the Florida Peninsula is going to see a lot of rain. And the guys at WPC are suggesting maybe southeast Alabama could see some rain from this. I'm not so sure about that. It's possible. But we just don't know yet. So uh, just be aware of possible changes here. Tennessee Valley looks dry one way or the other. Tropics, we've got uh, Aaron, which is now becoming post-tropical, east of Cape Hatteras, and of course Dorian. Uh, Aaron is moving northeast, and uh, this is the last advisory issued by the Hurricane Center. We'll focus on Dorian, top winds 85 miles per hour, now well north of Puerto Rico, moving northwest at 13. Here's the forecast track from the Hurricane Center, should become a major Category 3 hurricane tomorrow afternoon and stay in that state until the time of landfall late Sunday night or Monday morning on the east coast of Florida, somewhere around Melbourne or Cocoa Beach, maybe West Palm Beach. And then the system weakens inland near Orlando Monday night. Let me just say, if you're headed to Disney World for the Labor Day weekend, uh, the weather should be okay Saturday and a decent part of the day Sunday, but conditions deteriorate late Sunday night and Monday with increasing wind and rain. So here's modeling, and this is good news for the Alabama Gulf Coast and the Central Gulf Coast. Uh, this is the tropical models. All of them, all of them now turn Dorian northward before reaching Alabama, and that keeps us on the dry side. Here's the GFS Ensemble. The mean is the black line, and the mean does bring it into the uh, Appalachian Bay, and then it moves it northeast up through Georgia. But again, that would keep Alabama on the dry side. European, the mean is the black line, and it shifted back to the right, and the models are doing the hokey pokey, and they could change again. So understand nothing is set in stone here beyond five days, but... Uh, the latest batch of data from OZ certainly suggesting there's a high chance this could recurve into the mid-latitude westerlies east of Alabama, keeping us nice and quiet here. And I say us, Alabama, and down to the central Gulf Coast, Gulf Shores, Destin, Panama City Beach. But again, things could change. We'll keep an eye on it. Intensity guidance, uh, you got to most of the models bring this up to Category 3 status in good agreement with a hurricane center forecast. Let's go to the GFS. This is the 06C run at 4 o'clock today. Upper high back over the southwest. Vortex and trough over Canada. And a beautiful day. Sunny mid to upper 80s. Low humidity. Tomorrow, again, we start the day in the 50s for cooler pockets. Highs around 90, but the humidity stays low. Saturday. Most of the state dry. There could be a few scattered showers. And if you're going to Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Panama City Beach, understand no direct impact at all from Dorian for the Labor Day weekend. But you will see scattered showers and storms around, which is what you expect in late summer. The high Saturday would be 87 to 90. Sunday, we will mention widely scattered showers statewide, but nothing really widespread, partly sunny with upper 80s. 
Monday, the GFS has Dorian near Jacksonville, Florida. And we're dry. Again, we're on the dry side. Tuesday, Dorian comes up through Georgia. And again, there might be some rain for extreme east and southeast Alabama, but most of the rain east of here. Wednesday, the remnant low is really over the Great Smoky Mountains and dissipating. We're mostly dry. And a week from today, this is Thursday, upper high off to the West, and again, we're very dry. The remnants of Dorian moving up to the mid-Atlantic coast region. Well, look at the European just for the fun of it. This is the output from the OZ run. And again, it shifted back off to the right, and it's got Dorian recurving well to the east of Alabama like the GFS. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 7th, a troughing over eastern Canada. And for us, that looks pretty quiet. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. This is the driest we've seen in a while. If this verifies, the mean is under one inch for the next 15 days. So this is kind of giving us the signal of a very dry look here for a while. And the number is highs, mostly mid to upper 80s, lows, mostly in the 60s here for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.